Welcome everyone. I want to show you now on how to get your corset. As I told you, I told you I'm going to drop a video on how to get your corset. So I hope this helps somebody as I go through on how to get your corset. It's very easy and quick. So let me go straight into our cutting as I show you. So I have my basic measurements all together right here. So what I did was to take about one inches upward away. Because how I'm going to cut my corset now is without sewing allowance. Whenever where I'm going to put sewing allowance, I will let you know. So it is without sewing allowance that we are going to cut out. We are going to cut our allowance, include our allowance when cutting our fabric. So I took away one inch and I ruled a straight line to get my guide for my measurement. So from my shoulder, I was able to get my bust point. From my shoulder, I was able to get my bust point. And I got my under bust. So my under bust, my shoulder to bust is 10, under bust is 13.5, my waist is 15.5, I included half inch for sewing allowance, take note, my under bust is 15.5, I included half inch for sewing allowance, this half inch is to join the down part, if it is a dress or peplum, this half inch is the one you are going to use to attach it together, so that aside, so after getting your, your, your lines, you roll your straight vertical lines to get your vertical measurement. So what I'm going to do next on vertical measurement, I'm going to get my shoulder measurement. My shoulder is 14 divided by 2 will give me 7. So I have my 7 right here. I have my 7 here. So what I'm going to do now, after getting my shoulder measurement, I'm going to come down by 1 inch for my shoulder slope. I'm going to come down by one inch from my shoulder slope. And how to get my armhole measurement is my bust divided by six plus 1.5. So my own bust divided by six plus 1.5 gives me 7.6. So here is my 7.6. 7.6, which I have here now. So after I get my 7.6, I'll come back again like this to get my seven inches from my shoulder. I'm going to get my shoulder measurement, which is 7, yeah, 14 divided by 2, give me 7. So after doing that, what I'm going to do now is to rule my straight line to connect my shoulder, my armhole, rather. To connect my armhole just like this. So after connecting my armhole just like this, what I'm going to do now is to get the width of my neck. So the width of my neck for this, I'm going to make use of three. I'm going to make use of three, and the depth totally depends on how you want your depth to be. So I just want you to know about how to get your shoulder and your neck. So your depth totally depends on you. Sorry for the two lines there. Yeah, this is my line. I made a mistake. But that aside, so after getting your measurement, as you can see, what you need to do again from your armhole to get your armhole is your shoulder from this your my 7.6 now i'm going to divide it by two the 7.6 divided by two will give me six seven give me two points i'm sorry give me three point eight five six seven three point eight which i have here 7.6 divided by two this is the midpoint between here and here and here and here it is equal points which I have there. So how to get my boss point now? So I told you my boss, how to get your boss point is your boss divided by six plus one point five. Yes, that's what I have here. My boss divided by six plus one point five. That is what I have here. So you are going to use this your measurement divided by two. So after dividing my boss divided by six divided by two, it gives me three point seven. So this is my 3.7 which I have here. My boss divided by 6 plus 1.5. Give me 3.7. So my 3.7, I'm going to mark my 3.7 here. Mark my 3.7 down to the waistline. This is my under boss and this is my half cut, which is my waistline. So after having my point like that, what I'm going to do now is to rule my straight line, connecting this my points together. So after connecting my points together, 
what I am going to do next is to bring out my dart leg. And at this point now, my bust is 37. So my bust of 37, I'm going to take two inches for my for my dart as the waistline. This totally depends on the measurements you are working with. So I come in here by one and come here by one. If you are working with a smaller bust, after I get your measurements like this, when you come to this part, if you are working with bust of about 34, 35, you are going to take 1.5, and you are going to divide your 1.5 divided by 2. Place one part here and place the other part here. That is how you get your smaller bust. So I have to get, I need to locate my upper chest line now. So what I have between my shoulder to bust and under bust, 3.5. That is what I'm going to raise up to get my upper chest line. I'm going to raise it here to get my upper chest line. So the same 3.5, I raise it up to get my upper chest line. So what I'm going to do now, I'm also going to extend this line up to this my upper chest line. 3.7, extend it down to up to the upper chest line. So take note, this is the chest line, chest line. So this is our boss point now. What do I have here? I have, I have 3.7, 3.7 plus 0.5. So let me write that 3.7, 1, 2, 3, 4. 3.7 plus 0 0.5 will give me 4.3. So your side is going to be bigger than your center front because your side is always bigger than your, your front. When it comes to bust, your side is bigger than the front. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place my 3.7 plus 0 0.5. Give me 4.3. So this is my 4.3. 3.7 plus 0 0.5. 3.7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 4. Give me, sorry, 4.2. Gives me 4.2. So here is bigger than this part with half inch. So after doing that, what I'm going to do now, I have 3.5 here. What I'm going to do now is to get 3.5 at this point here. It's here to here, 3.5. To get my cup size, 3.5. I'm also going to use 3.5 at this point here. 3.5, just like this. So you can see. So after I get my 3.5 like this, at my under bust line, I'm still going to take my one inch for my dots, one inch here, and one inch here. Then I connect it together just like this. Remember, I took my bust and my waist measurements without my sewing allowance. It is without my sewing allowance. So what I have here now, let me crochet what I have here because I have about 0 0.3 here. So this 0 0.3, I'm going to take it upward. So what I have here, I took it upward. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark it straight, mark a straight line just like this to connect it to this point. I connect it down to this point. After doing that, what I'm going to do you can see my my 3.5 which I have I took here. I'm going to use my French curve to connect it down to my waistline, which is my under sorry down to my under bust line, just like this. So after getting it down to my under bust line, what I'm going to do for this other part now is to cross check what I have here. I have I have 4.2. So from this, my point which I have here now, this is the point which I was able to get my measurements to connect it down to this point. So from here now, I'm still going to get 
4.2 at this other part just like just put it straight like this make sure it comes like this from this point it comes like this to get my 4.2 as well so i have my 4.2 here so after getting my line there what i'm going to do at this my boss point take notes this is my boss point which i am calculating my measurements from so from this my boss point what i'm going to do now i'm going to come down by 0.7 if you have been following me you should be used to this 0.7 downward and 0.7 upward so i have my 0.7 downward and 0.7 upward so after doing that i will come and, and i will connect this to this point here So you can see don't make it sharp make sure you contour it or you, you blend it together so you can see what i have here i have connected this together to the waistline the underbust line rather so what i'm going to do now is to get my neck depth which i want to make use of for my top now so the neck depth, I don't want it to be too low and I don't want it to be too high. So what I will do now, I'm going to come down by 7.5, 7.5. So this is my 7.5, that is what I have for my neck depth. So what I'm going to do now is to connect this other one down to this point here. So you can see what I have. I just connected it down to this point. After connecting this part, I connected down to this other part here. So that is that. So what I'm going to do now is to get my body measurement before I connect my neck together. So my bust measurement is 37 divided by 4 gives me 9.25. 37 divided by 4 gives me 9.25. So I have my 9.25 here. I have my 9.25 right here plus 2 inches for sewing allowance 9.25 plus 2 inches for sewing allowance and at my waist point my waist measurement is 31 divided by 4 give me 7.75 so i have my 7.75 here 7.75 right here and i'm going to include these 2 inches that into because these are not included in my measurement but you can see me, I took it as well when getting my measurements. You can see I included it in my measurement. So I'm going to replace it back to this other part. So I include my two inches back to this point here. Then I bring back my two inches for sewing allowance just like this. So after connecting like what I have here is what I'm going to place here. So what do I have in total here? I have 12 inches in total. So I'm going to bring it back this way marking my 12 inches like this so what i'm going to do for this point now is to connect it connect it to this up like this so remember two inches for my sewing allowance let me bring it out for you to see my sewing allowance which i'm working with So this is my sewing allowance which I am working with. So what I'm going to do now, let me connect it down to the armhole. So what I'm going to do now is to, because I want to make use of this as my yoke. I want to make use of this as my yoke. So what I'm going to do now is just to connect it down to this point. I want to give it a slight curve down to this point. So what I'm going to do, let me see. I want the shape to look exactly just like this. 
So this totally depends on how you want yours to look like. Okay, so I want to connect it just like this. So take note of this. This is for my this is my yoke part. So after connecting it just like this. This is my arm hole. Let me give it an arm hole curve just like this. I don't want to use my free hand to do this. That is why it is giving me some great results. So you can see what I have there. So after getting it like this, this other point which I have on my side, I'm just going to connect it upward just like this. So you can see what I have there. After connecting it like that, what I'm going to do now, at this other point here, I'm going to extend this, my line here. So I extend this, my line from my upper chest line. I extended it upward to this length here. So I extend my upper chest line to this up. So what I'm going to do right there now, is to come in by by one inch from this my that intake this my that point now i'm going to come in by one inch and go out here by one inch as well the same way i did for this other point the way i did for this point that's what i still did for this so i'm going to connect it from here down to my 0 0.7 inch which i took out for this so you can see after connecting it like that i'm going to connect it as well from this point down to this other point like this. Hope you understand what I just did here. So when I try to connect it like that, then this is my armhole. Remember this is a yoke, as I told you. So it needs it to come like this. So this is my yoke, which I have for my closet like this. So it is as it stands now, I have gone ahead to get out my front. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut out, cut it out for you to understand what I am doing here. In case you don't under, in case you are somehow confused, please watch the video again to understand it better. But I hope you are getting, I hope you understand what I'm trying to do here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut it out. So I have gone ahead to cut my side. So what I'm going to do now is to cut out my yoke. So this is my yoke which I cut out. So take note, this is also my dart. Which will be cut out as well. That is not included in my measurement. So what I'm going to do now is to cut out my center chest line.
So take note after taking out my yoke, I want we want to connect these little points down to the armhole there. So what I'm going to do now is to cut this out also, cut this out as well. So this is my side and this is my center front. And when you come to your boss point, you will want to label it so you don't get confused when sewing because you really need your label. You really need this label when sewing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark it as one, two, three, and four. Because you want your position to be like this when sewing. So you don't get confused. Because if you don't label it, you might end up putting it the wrong side you might end up even sewing two fronts together because of the shapes that it has so what i'm going to do now is to cut it out like this so this is for center this is the center front take note center front cf Then center back CB or side back, center front and side back. So, what I'm going to do now is to get out my dots as you can see. So as you can see, this is what we have for our corset. This is what we have. This is for our side. This is our, this is our center. And this is our side as well. This goes for our side. And this comes for our side just like this. So this is how it is going to be when you want to sew. So let's go ahead and let me place my front on my back. Let me go ahead to place my front on my back to cut out my back. So this is for my yoke. I'm going to use this yoke to cut out anything which I want to use for my upper part. And I'm going to include sewing allowance. So at this point, I'm going to include 0 0.5 here, all around 0 0.5, here as well, 0 0.5, here as well, 0 0.5. That is what I'm going to include around it, 0 0.5, just like that. And these other parts as well, you're going to include 0 0.5, around here, 0 0.5. Here also 0 0.5. We are going to leave it 0 0.5 because if we take note of the beginning, I included 0 0.5 here. So you are going to leave this like this. And at this other part, you are going to include 0 0.5 round it, 0 0.5. You are going to put 0 0.5 round it like this. All these points will have 0 0.5. This up 0 0.5. This as well. Going to have 0 0.5 at this point, 0 0.5. At this point, 0 0.5. At this point, why you are going to add 0 0.5 is because I do not include my sewing allowance. 0 0.5. Right here, you need 0 0.5 here and 0 0.5 here as well. So after doing this, let me go ahead to place my front on my back for you to understand on how to go about that. Okay, so what I have here now is my back being labeled out. This is my shoulder as you can see for the other part and this point right here is my shoulder to bust and this is my under bust and this is my half cut line so i have my vertical lines ruled out all together so take note this is my zip line so what i'm going to do for my front now is to place my center front at this point just like this and also take a close look i want to make this easier for you to understand so make sure your underboss sits at the line which I have here. So after putting your underboss like that, you are going to put something to hold it down for you. So I hold it just like this. Make sure you have in between this, you have one inch in between. 
you have one inch in between this one inch in between this part then what i'm going to do for my yoke because the back is also going to have a yoke so i'm also going to put my yoke just like this just like this so what i'm going to do for my waist point just like this. i want to make this easier for you to understand how to get my waist point just like this i'm going to get my darts to my one inch divided by two give me 0 0.5 so here is my 0 0.5 which i have at this point right here and at this other part my waistline i'm still going to have my 0 0.5 just like this so after having your 0 0.5 like this, what you are going to do is to connect it upward with a straight curve just like this So you can see what I just did here. I was able to get a straight line to connect my darts. So after having this, then my back all depends on how I want it to be. If I want it to be equal, equal yoke with my up, I can go as, as well go ahead to do it like this. But if I want it slower, and I can as well make it slower. But for this, what I still want to do, I still want to use the same length for my yoke. So what I'm going to do now is to get my mark at this end just like this. Okay, so that I just did. I was able to get my mark just like this. For my side, I was able to get my mark just like that. Then I will go ahead to come up to take away, go ahead to take away my upper yoke. Then come back to get the length. The depth of my neck, which I want to make use of. So the depth of my neck will be the same 7.5, which I want to make use of. As I get to my 7.5, I come back with my yoke just like this. For it to be very, I want it, this to be very easy for you to understand. So what I'm going to do now is to connect my shoulder like this. Connect my shoulder measurements like this. With, it, with dotted dotted lines make sure when doing this this is equal with your mark which you have connect this with the dotted lines just like this connect it down to that point which i have there so after connecting it like that what i'm going to do now is to take away my measurements but before doing that i'm going to also give a dotted line for my side dotted line for my side then i'm going to take this out so this now totally depends on how you want your yoke to be if you want it in a shape in a curvy shape like this depends on you if you want it in a straight line like this, this also depends on you. So let me see what I want to do. Let me see if this straight will be finer. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to connect, just connect it like this. So this is the shape which I have here. But let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. I don't know if I will add a little, this all depends on you. I'm deciding on this, on what, how I want mine to be. Let me see how this will look like if I make it like this. Okay, so let me go ahead to connect my dotted lines together.
So that is that. So what I'm going to do now for this, my from the data of my back, I'm going to come in by 0 0.5. Come in here also by 0 0.5. Then I'm going to connect it down to this point here. Down to this point which I'm making use of for my yoke. So you can see what I have here. I hope this is very easy for you to understand. If you don't understand, as you always know, comment down below for me to make it simpler for you to understand. So what I'm doing now is to I just want you to take note of our back bodies. The easiest way you can get your back. That is what I just did just now for you to understand. This is the easiest way you can get your back with this calculation. So what I'm going to do now is to cut out my yoke as well. So for your neck, in case you want to make your neck, I just want you to understand how to go about this in case you want to make your neck. I have not decided yet on this neck because for now I am using my phone as my video. I have gone too far. Let me come back. So you can see what I just did there. This totally depends on how you want your neck to be, how the depth of your neck should be. So what I have here for this depth is 2.5. You can as well make it 3. It all depends on how you want your depth of the depth of your neck to be. Take notes here is three inches for the width of my neck. That should be three inches for the width of my neck. Three inches for the width of my neck. You can see I have even gone more than that. Three for the width of my neck. So let me correct that issue which I have here. So make sure, make sure you are sure with your measurement before you cut anything out. <clears throat> so I have just corrected my little errors which I have. So what you are going to do for this other part, you are going to use 0 0.5. You are going to cut, when cutting your yoke, make sure your allowance here is 0 0.5 at this side. 0 0.5 as well and at this other upper part 0 0.5 make sure you have a 0 0.5 just like this for this your zipper allowance you're going to leave it just like this so this aside so for our side center back and our side back this is our center back you are still going to use 0 0.5 and this part also you are still going to use 0 0.5 and this upper part also 0 0.5 0 0.5 for your fabric so that is how you are going to cut this you are going to leave this damper the way it is and leave your side the way it is you are only going to add your sewing allowance at this other part so i am humbled to tell you that we have come to a conclusion of our of our drafting of our corset so this take note this is for our back I hope this was very easy for you to understand. If it is not easy for you to understand, I'm still going to show you on how to make it again. I promise to be bringing more details on corsets. This is not the only one I am going to drop. I'm still going to bring more details on corsets. I promise you that. I'm not going to drop only this. I'm still going to come back and give you different ways of getting it. So you can see how my front looks like.
so you can see what we have here this is our front being labeled this is very important to it's very important to label your cent your front your center front and your side front so what i'm going to do now is to take you guys to the cutting section so if you want to see the cutting section please stay tuned and thank you for being here up till this length i really appreciate you for learning for learning with me as we go ahead to practice together so see you guys in the next video thank you stay safe and remain blessed